All right, it's that time of year again. Another map rework, Undertow Spillway. Not too sure how I feel about this one. The map is kind of meta as it is, but looking at the map it works, and understanding the other ones we've had are not the greatest, I'm not too sure how I feel about these. If I look at this immediately, they don't, like, nothing's really been fixed straight off the bat. There is not many fixes that I could see that are really beneficial to the stage as a whole. I'm not too sure how to feel at this stage being reworked like it is. But it doesn't matter. Because we're going to have a look at it and see how the stage looks in actual, like, person. So, right off the bat, there is a huge, and I mean a huge, factor right here. This whole side's getting a bit of an extension immediately. Going to about, probably, from what I could see, is about there. I'm not too sure how big big of an extension, but it looks to be that it's going to be around there, more or less. Roughly where I'm throwing my bomb. That's going to be where the extension is most likely going to be. Well, it could be further. It, looks like it could be all going all the way over there. Which isn't good. I mean, yeah, it's more turf up here, and it's going to have a weak extension going over here, but like, the problem isn't that this area doesn't have a flank route. You can get down here alright. It's contesting this point right here, and getting around there, which is the hardest part. Getting all the way over here, to get back here, and go around middle is the issue. This area is also hard to contest because, like, once someone gets up here, they can just hold the space down, and it's super easy. And it's kind of just dumb. Speaking of this area, it looks to be a weak extension is going to be added here. I'm not too sure. I mean, I, c I can't tell if it's uninkable or not, but I'm hoping it's not uninkable because this spot right here is like the only way you can really contest it in some way if you're able to get around and sneakily. Well, we'll get approached. You can also go here, but. This is another spot you can kind of like mix up with. It's just giving this area more space. It's nice, but it's not what the map needs. This area is already okay, and it's already pretty strong for backliners as a whole, having this much space in general. Especially the consent that you can go up with the glass, poke over there, poke over there, poke over there, you know. A lot of space to control. On another note, going from the left side to the right, you've got this section in the middle, which is going to have a weak extension. Instead of having this sponge that you can just jump up here or climb up on top of and get back up here, this section is going to have a weak extension of ground, I'm pretty sure. And there's going to be, like, a wee block here that's similar to Mint Metalworks that has that wee ramp up to the wee block section. So it's kind of a split section. Also, this is getting removed, which is not good. But the wee section is going to have compensation for it. I mean, this allows both sides peaking, which is good for defense, I guess. This area was really strong for right side peaking. This area, like this whole thing, had a problem with the whole left side because you couldn't really contest up there, or more specifically, you couldn't contest down there easily without having to go all the way around here. And this really exposes. Like I'm able to poke down there <clears throat> really easily with like right side peaking. Like remember, if I'm, I'm right here, I can right side peek kind of like this. But I'm very exposed to this open area right here. Whereas if I'm over here, I can do left side, but I can't really peek left side. But I'm very, I'm very, I'm really like. Um, protected by this block here. There also seems to be a weird inkable disc here, hopefully, that you could just use to just jump back up here in compensation for the sponge being taken away and um, swap for a bit more inkable ground, which is interesting. It makes it more manageable to get up, but that's kind of the thing. We don't need this. This one block here, I think, is going to ruin this entire section right here. The whole point of this whole thing being here with that inkable sponge was to make it easier for the defenders to defend enemies from coming up here and contesting the spawn region. Now with that block there, it's a lot easier to get up. Yes, it can still be contested, but it's certainly going to be a lot easier to just contest backliners instead of just firing up here, which is not a good thing in general. Hydras, E-Leaders, all that kind of stuff, all these weapons and all that, not good. This, not better. It's in fact worse, if not the maybe equal at the very best. And then coming all the way over here, this right side is getting narrowed. Terrible. Actually terrible. This whole thing, this block is getting removed from what I can see. And this is this whole section is going to be cut back to about here, I'm going to assume. Like, this whole region is going to be cut away, and you're only going to have this tiny sliver to get by. I don't know why the devs are making this right side even worse, but they are. This right side doesn't need to be worse. What really needs to happen is the left side needs to be fixed with that route going behind and maybe more contesting on that. Like, fill in that section right there between those slots. Perfect. Make a flank route going over that, using that side as cover. Perfect. 
That contests that area perfectly. But no, you just want to add more turf on that side just for paint in general. And just take the spot away because why not? Make it more contestable for the enemy to just already paint up here and just take out enemies that are very easily here. Like, if I'm an enemy, I can just shoot up at a spawn right there, throw a bomb. That right there contests that general area, and they can't really get past without me shooting down. Now, with this being gone, I mean, I can get very close to them now, and I can just cover this area. On another note, this drop down here is going to have a massive uninkable section, which looks to be the case right about here. Which, in fairness, it is kind of difficult to contest this area without rolling a bomb down here, and a lot of weapon kits don't have a bomb. I'm looking at all the 10 wall weapons in this game, for hell's sake. But, just shocking here was a big issue. Like, someone come down here, they'll drop them, ba 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 they'll just be caught out, and they can just continue to shock down here. Granted, the easiest way you can counter this is by dropping down to this side right here. You come down here, you drop down here, and you can shoot, roll a bomb, or just pre-fire this area and paint, and it'll be easy. And if you have to start a special, you can just kind of clear the area out if you really want to, but that's kind of a waste of a special. It's just an issue that we work. It's... A quality of life that could be interesting here. I will say though, that entire left side extension is literally just taking this whole section of turf here that was once here. For those who don't know, there's a whole section here. If you're looking right, you know what I mean. And then just put it over there. Like, what? You've just rotated the stage, making this side worse in every way you can probably make, except for the section here. But this side getting worse up there. This side, no turf here. And then that side over there, nothing. Add a triple sponge or a ramp here, and that makes it easily a lot better. Gives this side a bit more of a use instead of just sitting down here and just sharking for the enemy. And then comes the middle. Do we get any sort of extension route? More cover? More turns there? Not really. No. There's a block here, which I'm going to guess... I'm. This is a very much high hope. And I really hope it's not a massive pillar. But if it's an inkable block that goes up on both sides where you can just kind of go up here and then potentially jump on the glass from both sides, that would be nice. That would certainly be nice. Otherwise, I'm not too sure. There's some weird, like, um, dotted line stuff, but I'm not sure what that is. Like, there's a weird dotted line thing here and here going to the sponges. Or the pills, sorry. But I don't know what that's all about. So I'm a bit confused with that part. But I hope there's an inkable sponge. Or not sponge, but just an inkable block. But knowing the reworks we get, it's probably not even close to that, and it's probably a giant pillar, if I had to guess. So yeah, Underdose Spellway. Reworks, just by the judge of it, on Tower 4 specifically, with everything being changed, left side, right side, of middle, not good. Probably a 4 out of 10. 3 out of 10, probably. If the worst case scenario is that the enemy can get up here consistently, and can halt and can take out that right side, and can contest all of this, even at this side over here, that, that new extension, it's a 2. Probably a 1 out of 10. Probably one of the worst map reworks I've actually gotten. What we really need is a route to get over back that direction. Like, this whole section's fine, but you gotta push it back that direction and pull it all the way around here. Like, add a section that connects this section up here with high ground around there where that line is. Roughly where that connects. Maybe a bit more high ground. So that you can pre-fire down here, throw a bomb, and you have more contesting. Even then, if you couldn't contest it, just add a route that goes around behind here, or just cut away this block and add a route that goes around there. If you exclude the middle area with the glass and the middle thing, this whole area, it's fine. It's proper fine. That is going to ruin this whole right side's right purpose of being that. That whole reason of be that being there in the Turf War variant was because of that. And if this is the same in the right variants, then that's ruined it, pretty much. So yeah, Underdose Spellway. Not liking the reworks, but... I'm going to live on a prayer and hope that this stage is going to be better than what I assume it's going to be, but that is just purely copium. But yeah, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys when the, the patch notes, well not patch notes, I don't know if I'll make a patch note video, I'll make a rework video probably. I'll see you guys when that comes out, after the update probably. So, I'll see you then. Bye.